Here, my man, hard work. Young Suave Mente, what's up, baby? <laughs> wait, 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 yeah. Everybody, we're gonna do a hard work fit check. Man. Nah, look, man, look this at is the, regular. This look is, at the, it's a look, calm day. Look, Yo, you ain't never seen them before. You ain't oh, never man, seen them gonna, before. Yo, somebody. <laughs> I ain't gonna do it. All right. Young Trayvon Martin yeah. was 21, 22 years old. He gets stopped in the second round, yeah. hometown fight, yeah. by Gabriel Mestre. Yep. Mestre, two time Olympian, 5 0, in his 30s. Um, what would you think of that? Uh, he, took a, he took a leap. You know what I mean? He took a leap. To me, it was. To me, it was bad matchmaking. You know what I mean? I don't really know the kid like that, but from what I seen from him, I don't think he was really ready for that type of fight. But, you know what I mean? It's like, damn if you do, damn if you don't. He took a risk, took a fight that could have catapulted him to even bigger opportunities, but a little bit too early, if you ask me. A little bit too early. Are you seeing this trend in boxing, though, where a lot of A-list prospects yeah. are getting clipped early? Um, not necessarily getting clipped early, but I am seeing the the trend of too much too early, like too much too soon, like trying to fast track a lot of these guys, and that I blame social media for that. You know what I mean? Like a lot of a lot of these young boys' buzz come from social media. Mm. You know what I mean? They they the highlights, but it's a lot of parts of the fight that people might not see in these highlights. You know what I mean? If you're really not a fan of this guy, and you see a clip on your Explorer page. It's easy to like him. It's easy to, to you know, start hyping him up a little bit. But like every fighter that's under ten fights, still got some stuff to work on. You know what I mean? He was what eight and zero, nine and zero, fighting a guy that's five and zero. But that's not your regular five and zero. That's a Olympian five and zero. It's a lot of these guys that, especially overseas, these guys is different. You know what I mean? Like these guys is different. This wasn't an old man that was just coming to get a check. This is an experienced old man that just beat a world champion. I think a fight, a former world champion, a fighter go. I know he stopped Devin Alexander. Um, I think he beat Mike, Mike, Mike how you say Mike his name? Fox. Mike Fox. Controversial, controversial yeah. joint. But still, that was like his third fight. Yeah. And you Mike, know what I mean? Mike got like 25, that's what 26 I'm saying. fights. So it's like, you know, a guy got that type of caliber, that's kind of risky to put your fighter in there that early. But like I said, if he beat him, then what are we saying? You know what I mean? It looked like a you know a really good calculated risk yeah. if you beat him. Yeah, my my only problem with that is, is like it's hard to please boxing fans nowadays. If he beats that guy, are you putting him in there with a tomato? I'm sorry. If he doesn't fight a guy like that, he's fighting tomato cans. Loses to a guy like that, it's too much too soon. So it's like it's hard to please people nowadays. What's next for him? Ah, uh, come right back. You know what I mean? Shake it off. You ain't the first person. First prospect to lose a fight, you know, under 10 fights. Learn from it. His promoters and his team just got to pull back a little bit. You know what I mean? Slow up on the higher competition. Get right back to it. Nothing to lose. I mean, he didn't lose nothing from that. 